There Was an Old Pirate Who Swallowed a Map by Lucille Calandro and illustrated by Jared Lee. This is a scholastic book. It's a new one. Open. Yo, ho, ho, ahoy, matey. There was an old pirate who swallowed a map. And we were learning a lot about maps last marking. Well, last month, actually. There was an old pirate who swallowed a map. I don't know why she swallowed the map. Arr, but it wasn't a trap. How do we choose which way to go? Read the map and then we'll know. There was an old pirate who swallowed a line. She had to recline when she swallowed the line. My goodness, recline means you know, lean back. She swallowed the line to hold the map. I don't know why she swallowed the map, Arr, but it wasn't a trap. Tie the line to the hoist, the sail, the sail. The wind will steer us toward our trail. Excuse me, I was trying to use a pirate voice. Got a little stuck. Not a real pirate, I'm just acting like one. There was an old pirate who swallowed a sword. No one was bored when she swallowed her sword. That looks dangerous. She's a pirate. She swallowed the sword to cut the line. She swallowed the line to hold the map. I don't know why she swallowed the map. Arr, but it wasn't a trap. Or was it? This is such an exciting quest. But how do we know which way is the best? Use the compass. North, south, east, west. Never eat soggy waffles. North, east, south. They went north, south, east, west. There was an old pirate who swallowed a spyglass. It was made of brass, that shiny spyglass. She swallowed the spyglass to find the sword. She swallowed the sword to cut the line. She swallowed the line to hold the map. I don't know why she swallowed the map. Arr, but it wasn't a trap. Let's look into the spyglass to check out the rear. It makes faraway things look like they're near. There was an old pirate who swallowed an anchor. We all had to thank her when she swallowed the anchor. She swallowed the anchor to sink the spyglass. She swallowed the spyglass to find the sword. She swallowed the sword to cut the line. She swallowed the line to hold the map. I don't know why she swallowed the map. Arr, but it wasn't a trap. Oh, look at these pictures. Did you hear the splash when the anchor dropped? The weight of it helps to keep the ship stopped. Look at the details in that picture. Oh my goodness. There was an old pirate who swallowed a flag. She didn't gag when she swallowed the flag. She swallowed the flag to cover the anchor. She swallowed the anchor to sink the spyglass. She swallowed the spyglass to find the sword. She swallowed the sword to cut the line. She swallowed the line to hold the map. I don't know why she swallowed the map. Arr, but it wasn't a trap. The spot mark X is why we came to plant the flag and to stake our claim. What are they looking for? They need some treasure. Going on a treasure hunt. There was an old pirate who swallowed a treasure. It was a pleasure to swallow the treasure. Oh my God. Goodness, look at that. Detailed pictures. There was an old pirate who stayed until dark. On the pirate ship rode at the amusement park. Oh, wow. I can't wait till we can go to amusement parks again. Till it gets 
this one. Before we go on our next trip, let's learn more about life on a ship. Pirates rarely buried their treasure. They would split it up among themselves. Most of the money was spent quickly before they went looking for more. But books and movies still often show pirate treasure maps with riddles and an X marks the spot. So that's not really how real pirates used to do it, I guess. The spyglass was first invented in the early 1600s. This handheld telescope used two lenses to magnify objects that were too far away to see. Pirates used spyglasses to spot land, bird, seabirds, and other ships. Now we use powerful telescopes to see into space. Wow. The rigging of a ship includes the sails, the mask, and the other ropes that help the ship move. When a rope is being used aboard a ship, it is called a line. Sailors and pirates would sometimes climb the ship's lines to reach the sails. Mm. Couldn't be scared of heights then. Anchor. An anchor is a very heavy weight that drags in the sand to keep a ship from moving. The weight is often connected to the ship with an iron chain. Sailors originally used rocks to anchor their ships. Pirates would anchor their ships to climb aboard an enemy vessel. Ooh. Ships hung different colored flags. That meant different things. A red flag symbolized a battle. Hmm. A black flag meant death. Ooh, sad. The most famous pirate flag is called the Jolly Roger. It shows a skull and crossbones, and that's often what we think about when we think about pirate ships. Think about that flag. Pirates often used a short, thick weapon called a cutlass. I think that's how you pronounce it. This sword had a slightly curved blade and often had a wide hilt to protect the owner's hand. A cutlass was... I think that's how you say it, cut lasso, was strong enough to cut through heavy rigging on the ship, but short so that pirates could fight in small spaces. Hmm, interesting. That's how it looked. Search and find. Oh, life as a sailor is full of adventures. Oh, they're asking you to go back in the story and to find these different things. The rope ladder, the goblet. Oh, interesting. I always like those to find the pictures. Thank you so much for enjoying a good story. Happy reading.